Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Plain and simple. Just finished the workout. We're here. We're still here. And you know what? It's the time of the year to have some fun. So we are splurging today on the second account. Uh, you guys have been loving the videos recently. Absolutely loving. Basically, we're going to buy a couple crazy players. I wanted to wait to make the purchases with you guys until we started recording. We're buying Garincha. This guy looks insane. I've been wanting to try him. It's the best version of Garincha we've ever, ever had. Five star skills, 99 finishing. Garincha has always had some of the best left stick dribbling in this game. But now this card has the shooting, right? This card is going to be absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait to try him. Um, this video as well, we're going to be finishing out some of the foot champs qualities in this account. You guys have been loving the videos. I'm going to try to keep them coming as I can on this channel. And we're going to read through some of the comments as we play in this video. Talk about really, you know, as I'm playing, I'm going to talk about some things. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy that. And if you do, drop a thumbs up. Guys, let us know who you want to try out in the future video. The next player with Garincha is going to be Joao Felix. Five star, five star. I want to give him a go. I think he looks really, really, really good as well. Uh, one, three, two, three seems to be the cheapest for him. We're going to go for that. One, three, two, three. He's five star, five star, as we just mentioned, right? Crazy, crazy looking card. It's the time of the year. We haven't tried a lot of these crazy players. We're going to start trying them. Felix's last Chelsea card. He's going back to Atletico Madrid. Uh, he was on loan. Third player we're going to try today. This might surprise some of you, but then again, if you watch my streams, it probably won't. We're going to try out Shapeshifter Icon, Petit, the center back version. I think he is one of the best center backs in the game. And you know what? For that reason, I want to put him to the test. I want to put him in at that center back spot and see how he plays. So we're going to pick him up. 403k. He has felt almost unstoppable playing against him. So we've got three absolute warriors joining the team today. I think where we left off is we're probably 6 or 7-0, and oh, if I were to take a guess. Yes, we were 7-0, so we've got three matches left to try to clutch up the 10-0 for you guys. Uh, yesterday, we tried out McAllister, Vieira. If you want to watch that, by all means, watch it. We actually tried out Mo Salah, too, and he was really, really, really good. So, we've been using this crazy team. We also packed Dembele the other day, which has just been, you know, a whole other story within itself. I can't believe we packed that card. He is so good. I'm going to try to work him in the team today. I'm going to fix up the team right now. Once I get it sorted, we'll show you guys the team. All right, so this is how we're going to line it up today. Um, Felix is going to be, I think, on two. I think if we do a Portuguese manager, though, he's not going to go to three. Same thing with Premier League. So maybe if I put one more Portuguese player in the team, it would actually be a bit better. Um, but then I'd have to probably put Ruben Diaz in the midfield, which I really don't want to do. So I think I'm just going to deal with him on two. He looks really, really good. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We've got Messi in the team. Felix Garincha. It's a crazy, crazy team. Now, what I've been doing with my 4-3-2-1, one of the comments was like, can you show us the tactics a little bit? Um, what I have been doing, when, we need another midfielder. Oh, my goodness, we need another midfielder. We have to sort this out. I didn't do this right. We've got to get one more midfielder in this team, guys. This is a mess right now. All right, I actually have not tried Kamavinga, but we're going to use him as a left mid. That should be pretty fun. So we'll have Kamavinga with Hullet in the midfield. That looks pretty crazy. Mbappe at center mid. Probably should actually play Messi at center mid. He's pretty good at center mid. And then Felix 5-5. Five, five. We've got Garincha and Mbappe. We'll change him up. We'll, we'll move Garincha and Mbappe. Sorry, Garincha and Felix a little bit. But we're 7-0. and oh. Let's search for that qualities match. We already found one. And uh, one of the first comments was, it uh, has been fun to watch the channel. And he was asking, this is from uh, Yonatan. Uh, and he said, um, what position I played and what was I a merchant of in real life? He said, Elastico fake shots. Step overs. He actually put L1 Elastico uh, with a dead skull emoji. I played striker. I played a little bit like there was. I always played striker my whole life uh, in the middle. Um, not not purely a hold up uh, striker. Get him behind as well. But um, what I would say to you as I'm. Nah, this Garincha has crazy dribbling. Uh, what I was a merchant of for sure. Is uh, a first time, uh, first time layoffs for sure. So like, uh, the cam playing under and uh, always finesse shots. Finesse shots was my uh, my bread and butter was finesse shot for sure. I would. Wow, this Q and A is not going too well though because I'm sweating and this guy is crazy. Petit with the block. Um, but yeah, finesse shot for me for sure was like my. Uh, I ended up getting this dip on my finesse shot when I started to play against the really good goalkeepers uh, in college. Really like. Kind of dipping a shot to the back post was almost the only way to score. So my finesse shot just got wickedly good when I was playing in college. Um, and yeah, I haven't been playing for a couple months now. Um, I played a couple seasons in a really competitive league in the city. It was very good. But this last month or two, I've been kind of taking a break and enjoying the summer a bit. I was playing for a whole entire year. And it was not easy with the... the we had these late Thursday night matches. And I have to wake up on Friday and do these new promo streams. And my body is absolutely hurting. So Felix... 
Garincha, let's go on the board. So we get the first goal. And uh, wow, what a counter. Uh, Boxhead put in the comments of the last video that he just subscribed uh, on Sunday. And his question is, what inspired me to start the Rat to Glory series? Like, what was the main thing that I was like, let me start this series? So for me, you know, guys, believe it or not, I don't know how many of you guys are like new to FIFA. But what used to happen is like in the summer of FIFA, like pretty much right after team of the season, FIFA would absolutely die. I would say this is like this and last summer. Last summer was decent with views. Um, these are the first two summers where like FIFA is insanely alive. Like right now I'm having my most viewed uh, month on the channel in like almost forever. Garincha is so quality. But yeah, FIFA used to die so early on. So I started Rat to Glory in FIFA 20. And the reason for it was like, I was like, you know what? I don't want to be that person that's just like, I'm going to hang it up and not play for three months and wait for the new game. Like, what can I do for content that's going to entertain people? And, you know, guys, FIFA 20 is when there was like still the shush to have field. There was all this toxicity, right? EA really removed a lot of that. And uh, yeah, so that's what inspired me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this series a brand new account. I'm going to try PC. I've never tried PC in my life. Let's give it a go. We know it's going to be the rattiest competition on there. And that's really how I started it. And uh, yeah, it, the first season, if you haven't seen the first season, it is the least viewed season. But for the time of the year, we were getting 100,000 views a video. I feel like Rat to Glory was actually, you know, maybe one of the main reasons why people started watching me. It's just, it's so fun. Um, and it was such a good idea. So that's how I started it. By the way, guys, we had 226 comments, so I'm going to try to get to all these. And if you like this, guys, we'll do it more. We can do this once or twice a week. The summer is great to do this. Meyer said, will I open any more like high-end panini uh, or uh, like immaculate eminence football? I uh, Listen, guys, as you know, if you, you probably know, I'm into cards. I do like cards, a lot of collected cards my whole life. I've got really back into it a couple of years ago. I like to open stuff on stream, and obviously that's a bit of a gamble, but I like to get good prices. I don't like to overpay for the really premium products because on Eminence, you know, you can end up spending like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and getting only a $5,000 box. So the risk is really high. So I just like to be good with my money. I don't like to gamble like crazy on those. Um, but yeah, Eminence is really cool. For the World Cup, they dropped an Eminence and it's super rare. I really actually wanted to open that and now it's gone up a ton in price. I had a chance to buy that for 17 k It's like 23 So I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to be pissed that I missed the cheapest. But yeah, I don't think so. But maybe if the time is right, the time is right. Uh, Visca Barca is asking, um, what is the best way to get rank one or move up division and avoid DDA and insane teams with jam? So for me, the way that like I feel like I really, because this year, guys, if you've been watching the channel, you know, like this is, yes, FIFA 20, I was beating pros and I was insane. You could say the same thing about FIFA 19. People think FIFA 20 was my peak. And I actually think that game had such a good skill gap. But this year, I have had so many rank one finishes, like a ridiculous amount. And I'll probably lose this game now that we're we're chatting here. But the amount of rank ones that I have had this year has been insane. And a lot of people wonder, like, what is it, right? Oh, this guy's sweating, bro. He's been doing the step overs and everything. Cutbacks. For me, it's literally about learning, timing with reactions of skills, and just understanding that, like, bullshit is going to happen in this game. And just try not to let it, like, piss you off too much. It's really easy to get, like, really mad at this game. And I think for me, like, something massive that I did was I just stopped really caring. And uh, it's just about focus. Like, this FIFA, it's a, you have to invest so much time and focus into the possession. Um, the main thing I would say to get a lot better at the game, like, what I really improved with was timing of skill moves. Like, that's going to be your, your most important thing. You will improve a lot if you can just learn how to time skill moves, right? Like, knowing when to do stepovers. I think shot angles... Yes, there's definitely DDA and a lot of that BS that happens in this game. Like, there's no denying that. I think this guy is literally just going to run down the line the whole game, man. So dead. I think the more you can, like, <clears throat> just get used to the BS that happens and, like, not care too much, the better you'll be at the game. And I would say, like, don't put too much pressure on the teams you're playing. Like, I think something I used to do in older FIFAs, FIFA 17, FIFA 18, was, like, I would look at the team and be like, oh, my God, this, this team is insane, right? But this guy is sweaty man i don't do that at all i really don't even look at the team the only the only player nowadays that i look at and i'm like freaking out is that millie savage that millie savage is honestly like game changing this guy is a demon by the way we're playing an insane insane player right now and i'm just giving him the ball every possession he's just gonna step over petite let's go oh, we gotta watch the step overs he's just winning the ball and step overs and kunde by the way every time i get into space kunde is like just he's like nope come on petite come on guys like, you can see this guy is so good because he times his step over. Step overs are so important this year for a speed boost. He times his step over so perfectly. I thought I was a step over merchant. This guy's going to break the world record now. 
Ah, he moved the keeper. I knew he was going to move it, but I thought if I would green that, I'd be good. Felix, let's go, man. Hey, we'll take it. What a goal from Felix. Sebastian Torres was asking, how was my overall... He has two uh, questions. How was my overall experience with high school and then college? And how did I figure out... Bro, it's a lot to do a QA and a against a step over merchant. Um, and then how did I figure out that YouTube was like going to be my profession? So, yeah, man, I had, a, I had a really good experience in high school. Like, I have no complaints. Great friends. Um everything man like everything was great loved playing football um never really loved school but you know gotta gotta get through school guys this is like insanely hard man i'm trying to freaking mcgeady cancel and then uh yeah so graduated and then went to play division one at college um i played at columbia university um my experience to be honest in college was really really shit like i i really did not enjoy university um and uh, it just, it just was, it was extremely challenging and um, I just didn't love it. Like, I think a lot of people are like saying they love, they love it, love it, love it. I didn't love it. And I think it's like cool to be okay with not loving something in life. Like you don't have to like everything. Right. And I just didn't love my experience. I didn't think it was a good experience. Um, like, did I improve and, and enjoy parts of playing football? Yeah. Did not love school at all for sure. Like was not, was not my thing. Got through, but was very stressful. And I started doing uh, streaming and YouTube and all that when I was uh, in my first year in school. So that was like, he didn't move the keeper. So really I started it because I don't know, people were following my Twitter account and I was posting like some, uh, some market advice and people wanted me to start streaming. So I started streaming from like my college dorm room um, and I was streaming with no face cam for like eight months. I should have asked to go the other way. And yeah, picked up some traction and then people started watching. And I think the point where like, I, I think my, my, my career started really doing well, um, probably two or three years. I was just really consistent. I was starting to upload to YouTube. I was streaming most days, not a ton of hours, but like, you know, just streaming an hour or two. That's the only time I had. I had practice, class, all that. I was just being consistent with it. And I think the time I knew was like, probably when FIFA 19 was being released, my channel started to do really well. And I, and I thought probably in the next year or so, that, uh, you know, this this career would turn into overall like a six figure job around FIFA 20, FIFA 19. So that's when I that's when I knew. And that's kind of like when I was like, all right, I'm halfway done with school. I don't really need this school thing anymore, but I wanted to finish it out because I was already halfway done. And um, yeah, I stopped playing football because you know what? I was like, could I maybe go pro? Yeah. Is the pro grind a, a, a crazy grind? Right. And, you know, with America, it's different. Like, Europe, you know, really, if you're going to make it pro, like, it's it's tough. It's tough to be past, like, 20 and still being in America, right? You're never going to – it's going to be really tough to make it, like, big-time pro. So I was like, I just think that, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I really enjoyed it, the ease of it. Like, you know, the, the flexibility of this job is amazing. So that part I really enjoyed too. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So that's when I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this thing out. I'm going to go for this thing. Um, and then, yeah, so I think I definitely made the right decision. Um, and that's kind of like my story. So yeah, I wasn't in love with, uh, school all the time, but you know what guys, like the thing is job school. I'm blessed that I like my job right now. I know there's times that I didn't like school and I, and I was really unhappy. Right. So you just got to grind through sometimes guys. And, and that's how you got to make it work in the long run, bro. This guy is like actually a demon, man. It's got me shaking. Dino play. Oh my God. A yellow timed it. Oh my God. Dude, I am not locked into this game right now. I got to lock in. That should have been a goal. Can't believe I just messed that up. I can't believe I just messed that up. If I did, if I did not time that, I would have scored. Garincha! Bro, the stepovers were crazy there. Wow, what a finish. DA was asking, uh, do I think I'll ever make like career mode content? Oh, no. Um, If they improve some things. So... I said this today on stream, but like if they ever added like online career mode, like they kind of, you can do an FM where I could go on with like 20 creators and make a league. I would be playing it every single day. Um, I just think EA are like really missing right now on like, they're not having like 2v2 foot champs, stuff like that. Like I think in terms of like a growth perspective, that stuff is actually like, I would totally do it every day. I would play it every single day. Cause I just think like the connectivity with creators and then, you know, it getting like, 
I don't know. I just think it would be like amazing competition if we ever had something like that. So I look forward to it. I don't know when the day is going to be. But if that day gets added, I probably, if that day comes, I probably will end up playing some career mode. Yeah, if you could do some like online career mode with other uh, creators, totally. This Aubameyang is a fraud. This Q this is the toughest video I've ever had to do with this Q&A playing against this sweat. This guy is making me, like, die right now. I don't even know how I'm winning. Oh, dude. Garincha just played the craziest pass. Oh, my God, Felix. This Felix is crazy. I think this guy was definitely on for a 10-0. This guy was sweating, bro. But you see, guys, how effective he is because this guy times his skills really well. That sometimes is like the huge difference between really good players and good players. Messi to Felix. Dude. No, Felix just missed that. Come on, Felix. I was about to call you the best striker in the game. Oh, what a miss. Petit's got that covered. Our new center back. What a freaking tackle. All right, man. GG to this guy. We got one game left. This guy was insane. I think an interesting question like Footy Edits FC has is like advice for high school. I, I don't know. You know, try not to get caught up in the moment in that time of your life because I just think that a lot of it like is not relevant in the in the later part of your life. But enjoy it. Try to enjoy it as much as you can. Um, that part of life is definitely like not full of a lot of responsibilities. And uh, yeah, it's a good time in that in that regard. I can understand it's maybe not a fun time in other regards, but that's a positive, I would say, with that time of life. So just try to enjoy it um, for what it is. And uh, yeah, uh, Chillin asked me, how do I balance my online and offline life? Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's not the easiest, to be honest. Like, I think that viewers don't realize it, but it's a lot to be on social media. Like, it's very draining. Um, the streaming is definitely the most draining for me. Um, I don't really check, like, my mentions or my comments. I'm not really looking at that stuff past, like, 5 or 6 p.m. I kind of try to treat my, my, my work, you could say, like a normal work. Like, I try to kind of work in the day. I'll be talking to, like, editors and stuff if I, if I have to to get videos up at night. But really, that's it. Like, I try to just not be on that stuff. Um, and I'm pretty much away from it. Like, I'm working out. I'm with friends. Getting dinner, stuff like that. Like, when I'm not streaming. So, I'm trying to be as removed playing football as I can from all of it. Um, so yeah. So by asked, like he said, he's really good at attacking, but he's not that good at defending. Like, how does he get better? I would say learn like a nice combination of like L1 and right stick switching, right stick switching is going to really help you and focus on when you're defending. Like, I'm not saying run around with the center mid the whole time, like focus on who you're dragging out of position. Cause a lot of times like people don't realize like they're dragging their center mid all the way to striker. And no matter how good you are at defending, if you create like a total imbalance like that, it's definitely going to impact like the amount of goals you're, uh, you're conceding or not, you know? So, oh my word, bro. If we had scored that, nah, this Garincha is insane. Nice job, Petit. I think this guy has level up Renato. I don't even know. But super sweaty as well. It looks like he's playing five back or something. Goodness, this guy's sweating. Why are we playing mega sweats right now? We're playing the sweatiest players, dude. I can't believe Mbappe just missed that. No freaking way Mbappe just missed that. Mbappe's been missing a lot today. Now, the other ones were yellow time finishes. That one was definitely not my fault. That was a perfect, like... And Vandersar is bailing this dude out like i never seen before. How on earth has Mbappe not scored there? Hull is running out of bounds. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong for the 10-0. You know what? Some of the games you play players and you're like, dude, this guy is good. This guy is good, but he's boring, bro. Don't play like this guy. You want to get better? Bore fest of possession, bro. So boring. He just keeps going back and forth around the back. It's so annoying. Bro, how is that getting blocked? I don't understand, bro. Felix, come on, man. Finally, we score. Bro, that took forever, but perfect pass from Garincha as well. That pass from Garincha was perfect. Man, Felix is the truth. Same with Garincha. Hold it! Bro, that was a crazy play. 
Ah, Hullo, what a finish! That strength was crazy. That's just Hullet's superpowers right there. Hold L2 as he receives. The ball was great, too. Kamavinga has been surprisingly amazing in the midfield. Nah, what is this Garincha with the strength? Dude, this Garincha is insane. I don't know how that wasn't a foul. That's got to be a red. This guy is definitely pissed, bro. But that's crazy strength. I've never seen Garincha have that strength. Oh, I cooked him, bro. What a shot cancel. And got the angle, too. But Felix couldn't finish it. But holding off Maldini there. The strength on these shapeshifters is super noticeable. Like, you can definitely see the boost they've given them. He's really got to score on this attack to have a chance, I would say. Oh my god, dude. Well, that's really because we had an advantage. I really don't want to lose to this guy because this guy is, like, really annoying. The way he plays FIFA, I literally hate it. It's probably the most annoying play style I've ever faced. The way he plays is disgusting. So, hopefully we don't lose. That's right, baby. Gorincha owns you. All right, boys. Rank one completed. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I definitely did. And you know what? The last two games were crazy sweaty for how chill this video has been. Those were sweaty games. I got to tell you, those were really sweaty games. All three players we tried, insane. Felix, insane. Gorincha. Gorincha was the best. Petite, very solid. Pretty much what I expected. And this guy hit us with the DC glitch. Man, the comp... Oh, I thought we got, I thought we got a DC glitch. These compliments we're getting from these people that are DCing us fuming they're fuming but anyways man 10 and 0 i don't think we can open the packs because we have so many save packs in this account but um yeah dude that was a good time rank one so my second account we don't really have a reason to be getting rank one i guess we have some champs but now that it's a short and weekend league um yeah but they were insane garincha had how many goals four three and three felix had three two and three and petite was a rock thanks for watching guys love you peace